Hello everyone, I'm Psychotic, and that's also my screen name. We're back with episode 5 of our uh, Let's Play for Hydraneer. And I realized in editing the last episode that I'm going to have to completely rework the way that I had this planned. Um, one of the major issues here is, one, we don't have enough room for the repair stuff out here. So that's going to be a problem. Uh, the other issue that I noticed is that uh, I can't have the gems come this way and the ores come this way. Because as much as I don't want to block this, uh, we don't have room for the saw if I do that. Because of the way that the saw has to be set up. So we're going to have the saw coming this way, the ores coming this way, and the gems coming this way. But we do need to find a way to set up for... Because we need three, so we need one, two, three three, which means we need to be in this line, and then we need five. So, if we have one, two, three, four, five, so then from here, this would be the end of the repair section. Can we still go back three from there? One, two, three. I think so. It looks like it'll let me put stuff all the way through that way, so yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to have to rework quite a bit of this. So what I think I'm going to do... is so the other issue that we're going to have over here is... We need to bury our uh, furnace for our crucible and or bar heating. And we can't because we can't dig through this. So that means that we're going to have to raise these one more and put in a floor level so that we can use the floor level to bury. And we're not going to bring the dirt up that floor level. We're just going to use cement blocks to do it. But I also am thinking of reworking back here. So I want these all to come up by one so that they can dump straight into this. So that's one of the changes that we're going to make. But this way we can have the repair stuff going out this way, which means we can pull our circuitry for our gem compressors this way. And then just have the floor extend out here a little ways. I have faith we can make it work. It's just going to be quite a bit different than I originally envisioned. And that's fine. It's disappointing, but it's fine. It just means that I wasted a bit of time, because now I need to get creative... and put these guys back. Can I? Nope. I can't get away with just the pillars. I've seen other people do it, but for some reason it doesn't work for me. I have to actually make a base as well. Or it gets angry with me. Yeah, I'm still not going to do it. And this is where the quest for the prince that I was talking about comes in so handy. Because the reward for that is a scepter where you just click and it flops dirt in. Which makes fixing things like this much easier. There we go. So we're basically going to do that with all of these. Okay, so with this we're going to have our piping run along behind. The downside is going to be trying to figure out how to get this guy in there. Because we cannot... It, it must be... Oh, how's that open? Oh, that opens correctly. Ah. Uh, Nope, yep, that's going to be the best we get. Well, that's probably better. Because I really want one to come down and one to come this way. But there's no shape like that. It would have to come straight. So we're going to get a little creative here 
And I think that's going to be how we have to do it. Uh, unfortunately, that means that these aren't going to be as close to the power supply as I was hoping. But I think we can make it work. So now that means that we're going to need one going this way. in order to hit all these guys from behind. Now something we could do here instead is that because that's going to give us what we need to run in front of these. And it gives us that branch off behind to run behind as well. But it'll help that way we don't have to bring in a, just a bunch of regular blocks to, to do stuff in here. Because we can use the ground itself. and then one for the valve. Groovy. So yeah, then back here we'll just send these straight across. So the idea is to have it all going off that side so that it's not sticking out where we're trying to walk. Because right here, while yes, it's going to be buried, is also going to have the circuitry for our timer for the um, gem compressors. So I want it to come out this way. So that means that the stuff for the repair kit here needs to go out that way. Whoops, that is not... means that you're going to have to, yeah. Right. Oh, that's only four, that's why. Where is Mr. Number Five? There he is. So that'll work quite nicely, I think. This one actually needs to come this way. Whoops. It's already vertical. At least this guy's fairly quick to set up. Thank you. 
They're there. I wonder... We might actually be able to save a lot of these straights. Nope. No, we can't. It's the, uh... It's the problem with the only being able to go three directions. I would need one to turn in a direction that it can't possibly turn in in order to shorten this by one. So we would need it to angle down and also to the right and instead of going down and straight. Kind of like a corner piece instead. I did screw one thing up though. I'll have to fix that here in just a minute. Doesn't, it's not as hard to set up as it looks, really, once you, once you get the hang of what's going on. I mean, we're throwing it together pretty quick right now. And barring any hilarious whoopses, like I tend to have, it should work just fine. That was exactly enough. It was just over 8,000. It was less than 8,100, but over 8,000 to set up a full repair kit like this, uh, logic-wise. Because we are missing the actual filters themselves. But that's okay. There we go. All things up and running. All we have to do is slap in the filters and it'll, it'll go. Yeah. So a curve going up and then a curve going left. So we'll have this bump up onto here, which will have a left turn that'll bump up onto here. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five. Sh shoot. It really needs to be six long. I really don't want to shift all of this down one more. I suppose we could. But six isn't gonna work. No, it might. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then just have this one turn left and drop down onto the platform here. Yeah, we can make that work. We are gonna have to come out an extra one then though. No, no, that'll work, that'll work. We can make that work. Okay, so we need two additional curves. And a handful of straights. So, all of the stuff that I had counted out for what we needed back here, we've already used elsewhere. That is fantastic. Okay, so for this, we are going to need... We have two T's, which means we need two more T's. So we need two T's, we need one L at the end, 
one L here, so that's two, three, four. Four L's. And then we're going to need probably not 12 straights again, but we are going to need at least, see there's four of those, which means that we need, so if we have one, skip one, two, skip one, three, skip one, four. So we need seven. So we need seven straights. All right. And let's not forget our tools this time. Oh, Lord. There we go. So there's that. There's one. I think that'll be fine stopped where it's at. Alright, we should start at the end because we're not going to be able to get over top of the stuff as we lay it down when it's only too high like that. the repair set up, hopefully we'll never have to be back here for anything, so we can just basically ignore it after this. Now, if we were to move these back into this space, they would no longer work, because that is tier 2 soil. We have them back as far as we can possibly get them, and still have them function. Okay, so nothing back here is going to need any kind of uh, conveyor at all from here over and back. Just the stuff in the front here. So that's going to make life a little bit easier. So this guy should still be running pretty strong. Yep. Even with all the time we spent down there, we still have 17 left. So it's going to keep going for a good long while more. Hmm, still haven't gotten any onyx out of that. Weird. Two thousand. And what are you worth? Nine hundred. And three hundred. It's so two thousand it is. We seriously haven't gotten any onyx? That's sad. Alright, what do we have in gold? Well, there's twenty-one grand in gold right there. The iron we're going to need, and this stuff we're definitely going to need. Actually, how much of this do we have? 300? It'll have to do. We're taking this with us to power that once it's done. Okay, we'll drop you up there. Make ourselves a ring. And what you worth? So there's 25 grand to add to what we've already got. 
And that's just the gold. The iron we're going to need to make the tier 2 machines. But we are also going to need clautium. And we really don't have that much clautium. Oh no! Our other... I mean, we're going to get five times the output that we are here of nugget frequency, but we're going to get much, much larger ones too because it's an additional three blocks back. Did we run out of power down here? Is that what's going on? Nope. Nope. Still going. Okay. Well, we got our ring. That'll give us 20 grand. That should give us enough to get the uh, stuff that we need. Now, I know that seems like a waste to have two of these saws, especially since they cost tokens. But in the grand scheme of things, the one in the, the tier 1 area is eventually going to come out. And when it does, it's not going to be wasted. We're going to use it to cut plants. So it's not really a waste to buy the second. I will not buy a third, though. <laughs> oh, that is... That is a mess. Did any of it get put on here? Some of it. Enough to tip it over. Actually, most of it, it looks like. I am impressed. <coughs> so that should in theory flop it down to whatever's down here okay we can start taking these straights Two, three, four, five. Iron, gold, shard, cloudium, core stone. And because core stone's there, this has to stay open. Now we actually need two open. we're going to need circuitry for this guy that comes out and down. Okay. Well, that means that that one's not a straight. That one is. Remember, we're going to have everything a block deep on the floor here. That's why it looks like it's all still raised up too high. <coughs> wow. I don't know how that's going to work with that, but... Well, if it'll let me put it there, it should, in theory, let me put it there. Right? Well, 
anything coming out of the this side is not going to need cut. Anything coming up here will need cut, so I think that's going to be our our least painful. There we go. Now we shouldn't have any drip sounds. So I'm a little worried about this as a hang-up spot, and I'm a little worried about this as a hang-up spot. But we can fire it up and see what happens, I suppose. This comes all the way to the white blocks, and I didn't expect that. Of course, we can also tunnel through and around this way. And we might do that eventually, after we get everything up and actually running, and have some time to kill. That might be something we do. An alternative entrance, but remember, with everything raised by one, we'll just be able to hop over this. So. Doing the, uh... Yeah, doing a, a horizontal build instead of a vertical build is definitely, definitely different. But I'm hoping that uh, I haven't mucked anything up too bad, and that this actually works the way that I expect it to when we power it on. So yeah, uh, this I'm still worried about. Oh, I still need a left turn and a couple of straights there. We've got the left, so we need one more straight conveyor. And actually, if we put a straight conveyor there, we can just bring the gem cutter down here, because it's not going to sort until after that. So yeah, that actually nicely negates the entire issue. Oh, and I need the hammer anyway because I had already hammered it down okay so yeah uh, my lack of attention actually was beneficial for once and that makes me happy it is not often that uh, not paying attention actually helps anything at all usually that's a detrimental thing yeah 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 you just put it right here. There's nothing that says that it has to be... It just needs to be before we sort the gems. It doesn't have to actually be during... Or at the very beginning like that. So yeah, this works perfect. This makes me very, very, very happy. So we still need one more straight conveyor. And then I think we are... Oh, and our, and our compressors. Right, right, right. Alright, so yeah, we know what we need to buy at the beginning of the next one, and uh, there we have it. Get our, our stuff sorted out, and fire this beast up, and we'll see what five times the production looks like. And then we can actually take our... Uh, we can continue with straights back this way, until we hit where our tier 2 st tools stop working, and build our tier 2 setup back there. And then we can just drag it all the way up here, like we do here. So we'll basically have a replica of this back there, except with tier 2 machines. And then it'll just pull up to here, where these are coming in, and they'll meet, and then it'll carry it up there. That's why we have this instead of the turn there. It's because that's going to continue straight back. 
Alrighty, well, uh, if you learned anything useful, which I, I don't think I did anything new this time other than we set this up from scratch again very quickly, all in one go this time instead of in multiple parts, uh, or if uh, you were entertained at all, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and uh, I thank you, and have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you next time.